Good morning, Phoenix High School. Welcome back to another episode of PHTV. I'm Elizabeth Castillo. And I'm James Roberts. To start off, just a reminder that statements have been going home on a regular basis to let your parents and yourself know the balance under your accounts for classes and, and athletic fees. Seniors, we would like to have all balances paid off by May 25th. You will not be able to walk at graduation or join the rest of your class at grad night party if not paid. Un anuncio para todos los seniors. Tienen que pagar sus balances antes del 25 de mayo. Si no los pagan antes, no podrán caminar en la graduación o participar en la fiesta esa misma noche. Si eres un freshman, sophomore o junior, por favor de estar pagando sus balances cada año para evitar los altos precios. If you are a freshman, sophomore o junior, please take care of paying off the high uh, paying off by the end of each year so you can avoid the high cost of fees. Thank you. Seniors, the local, um, the PHS local scholarship application is available now and is due by Monday, April 9th to the Future Planning Center. You can download the scholarship application from the Phoenix High School website. See Ms. House with questions. Otro anuncio para los seniors. La aplicación para la beca de PHS está disponible ahora y tiene que estar entregado el lunes 9 de abril al Future Planning Center. Pueden descargar la aplicación del sitio de web de la escuela. Si tienen preguntas, pueden hablar con la señora House. Have you ever dreamed of being a pilot or wanting a career working on airplanes? This Thursday, March 15th, Grants Pass Airport is hosting an event for 9th and 10th grade students to explore careers in aviation. Space is very limited for this event. Only 10 spaces are available. If you would like to attend, please stop by the Future Planning Center for a permission slip. Southern Oregon University is now accepting applications for the Academia Latina Summer Program. Application must be submitted online. Please visit the Future Planning Center for more information. This next announcement is for all students and is very important, so listen up. The Oregon Department of Education has started a safe Oregon tip line. If you want to safely and anonymously, and anonymously alert attention to a threat, bullying, harassment, or any serious issue that you are aware of, you can contact safeoregon.com. You can also call or text their hotline number 1-844-4-SAFE-OR. Once again, that is 1-844-4-SAFE-OR. We want to remind juniors and seniors that prom theme for this year is Casablanca, an evening event in Morocco, 1940s. It will be on Saturday, April 14th at the Ashland Spring Hotel in Ashland. If you would like to go but are concerned you can't afford the $20 tickets, go see Miss Robin in room N412 this week about possible ways you can earn a ticket. There are limited ways to do so, and it's on a first-come, first-served basis to see her as soon as possible. Para todos los juniors y seniors que quieren ir a prom pero piensan que no podan, pueden pagar por el boleto, tienen oportunidad para obtener un boleto gratis. Si quieren saber más, pueden hablar con la señora Robin en la clase N412. Speaking of prom, this Friday is the prom dress swap and bar event here at PHS in the small gym from 4 to 6. Bring your previously worn dress to allow someone else to borrow it or borrow one from our awesome dress closet. All local schools are invited, so spread the word. Bring your friends and we'll see you there. 
Taylor Roy and I made a segment to inform you more about it. Let's roll it. On Friday, March 16th, from 4 to 6 in the small gym, we are going to be having our first, what I hope will be annual, prom dress swap. And it, the way it works is um, we will have our dresses from our closet available, but girls from all over the valley are invited to bring any dress that they have in their closet from a previous dance, bring it, swap it with other girls. Um, you have the opportunity to borrow from us. We'll have sh some shoes, some accessories available as well, but we encourage you to, um, before you spend your own hard-earned money or your parents' hard-earned money, see what we have available to swap with other girls or borrow from us. So from four to six, small gym, Come see what we have, and you will, if you attend, be entered to possibly win gift cards for dinner that night, opportunity to get your hair done for free, your makeup done for free, um, your nails done for free, So, but you won't have that opportunity if you don't attend, so we will see you there. This is, the, this is our last episode of PHTV before spring break, but the second week, of, but the second week we return from spring break, we'll, will be a big week. It will be Spirit Week. Spring Spirit Week will begin on Monday, April 9th and run through Thursday, April 11th. Monday, April 9th will be Meme Monday. Dress as your favorite meme. Tuesday, April 10th will be Tor Taurus Tuesday. Dress up like a tourist on vacation. Wednesday, April 11th will be Dress Like a Kindergartner Day. And finally, April 12th will be Senior Citizen Day. Dress up like a senior citizen. If you do not know how to dress up like a senior citizen, just check out whatever Mr. Carvalho is wearing. Also, don't forget to wear school colors this Friday to show your school spirit. All this talk about spring break reminds me that our very own Corey Romick and James Roberts made a segment to let you know when spring break is this year. Let's check it out. Spring break 2018. Oh, hey there. Are you a loser? Did you not plan out your spring break? Well, here's some things you can do. Make new friends. <laughs> Play basketball. Just do nothing. Hey Dave, weren't we supposed to be good here till? I I don't think so. Spring break starts March 21st and ends March 30th. Hi guys, it's Breezy. I'm gonna be needing some help on Saturday, March 31st, from 10 a.m. to about 12 or 12:30 p.m going to have our annual Easter egg hunt on the football field, so I need about 20 volunteers, and so far I think I have four signed up. In club news, there will be a FFA lunch and meeting for everyone tomorrow on Tuesday, March 13. It is a required meeting for all members going to state convention. Please meet in Ms. Walkup's room during lunch tomorrow. Also, my future My Choice members, please make sure you are on time to teach Lesson 1 on Wednesday, March 14. Lesson 2 will be on Wednesday, April 4. Thank you for doing a great job at the training. Speaking of clubs, spring is in, spring is in the air and one PHS club really kicking into high gear during the spring. Garden Club. PHTV's own Randy Mick and Katie Baker made a segment to highlight our Garden Club. Let's roll it. Garden Club. Garden Club has been getting ready for the springtime. Garden Club meets every Thursday in Janicek's room at 
they will be learning about transplanting and how to propagate raspberries and strawberries. Make sure to drop by and participate in the Garden Club. Beginning today, March, March 12th at 6 p.m., we'll have some open gym opportunities for all PHS students on Monday nights. Basketball and volleyball will both be offered for anyone who wants to play, including students and staff. The fun will begin at 6 p.m. and will run until 8 p.m. If there's enough interest, the program will continue after spring break. To take part, you need to pick up a parent permission slip form at the front office. Once it's completed, drop it off at the front office or bring it the first night. For more information, contact Ms. Mr. Earhart in the athletics department. Also, if you're interested in track and field, see Mr. Cornett as soon as possible. Before we go, Ms. Pond in the Diploma Center has an important announcement. Starting Wednesday, March 21st and running through Friday, March 23rd in the Diploma Center will be open. The Diploma Center will be open from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. for any student wanting to work on makeup credit. For any any questions, see Ms. Pond in the N105. For any questions, see Ms. Pond in N105, the, the, the Diploma Center. Also, a reminder for all advisors, approximately five minutes after this episode of PHTV, we will air this year's elective video. Be sure to tune back in to PHTV five minutes after the show for the elective video. Okay, so that about sums up our show for today. The only thing that's left is trivia. Last week's question was, when should seniors have their balance paid off by? And the winner is... Emma Bachelor and her in Miss Cox's room, and her answer was May fifth. Or um, congratulations, see Mr. Rose after advisory to get your Dutch Bros gift card. This week's trivia question is: When is prom night? Make sure to write your answer on a piece of paper along with your name and your advisor's name, and place it in the envelope on Mr. Rose's door. Maybe next week you will win the Dutch Bros gift card. La pregunta de trivia de esta semana es: ¿Cuándo es prom? Asegúrate de escribir tu respuesta en un pedazo de papel junto con tu nombre y el nombre de tu consejero y ponlo dentro del sobre que está en la puerta del señor Rose. Tal vez la próxima semana tú te puedes ganar una tarjeta de regalo de Dutch Bros. Be sure to stick around for the Pledge of Allegiance following our show and as always check out our online platform phtvnews.com. Have a great week Phoenix High School. This has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.